Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is what happens to the volume of an ice cube when it melts. So we, if we consider an ice cube, ice is actually just H2O, but in solid form. And what happens when water, liquid H2O, goes and becomes an ice cube, or just ice in general, is a phase transition which causes the H2O molecules, the water molecules in the liquid, to rearrange themselves to a different molecular structure than the liquid. It turns out that the, the ice, the water in the ice, actually has a smaller density than the liquid water. So, whereas the density of the liquid water, which I'll denote as rho sub w, is equal to one gram per milliliter, the density of the ice water is actually a little less. So I'm gonna denote that as rho sub i, and it's going to be, and it's equal to 0.92 grams per milliliter. So if I consider a block of ice that has 10 grams of mass, then I can determine how much volume it takes up before I melt it. So the volume of the ice is going to be equal to the mass of the ice divided by the density of the ice, which is going to be equal to 10 grams divided by 0.92 grams per milliliter. And this is going to be approximately equal to 10.87 milliliters. So I start off with this volume. Now I melt the ice and it becomes, here I put it in a little container, just water, liquid H2O. And I know the density of the water in liquid form. And I know that I have, I have to keep all of the mass, so I'm not letting any of it evaporate. So if I keep it in this container, then the volume that the water will inhabit in this glass is going to be equal to the same mass as the ice that I started with, divided by the density of the water. So this is going to be equal to 10 grams, and now I have to divide by rho w, which is one gram per milliliter. So I end up with a volume of water of just 10 milliliters. And if I look at the difference between the, these two, these two volumes, I end up with a difference in volume equal to approximately 0.87 milliliters, which is almost one milliliter. So almost 10% more volume is taken up uh, due to the ice expanding because it has a less, a smaller density than the water does. And this is a good thing too, otherwise life could not form as ice would form underneath all the oceans instead of on top in the North and South Poles. And that would cause many problems on uh, many different planets. My name is Walter Unglob and this is what happens to the volume of an ice cube when it melts. Mm -hmm.